Welcome to Bloodbath TV. Today we checked out a horror movie about a glory hole. Dick in a box. <clears throat> As guys, there's often the urge to just want to put your thing in things. Glory holes exist for exactly that purpose, and it's so strange. It's the mystery. We it's don't know the... who's behind the wall. But I just think that the whole idea of a glory hole is fucking odd. At least this one, it's a box. This is the special. Sometimes you go to a massage parlor and you ask for a happy ending, and sometimes you go to a psychic and ask for the special. It's a weird world we live in. This comes to us from B. Harrison Smith. Most people probably know him from Death House or Camp Dread. It's a body horror film that starts with a dick in a box. We're gonna be talking full spoilers about this because the most important aspect is what happens after you put your dick in the box. So if you haven't seen this and you want to check it out, it's on Tubi. Link is in the description. And if you want to support the channel, go to Patreon and support us so that we can keep talking about glory hole movies. There's at least one more that I saw that has a really cool poster. I forget. <laughs> it's like deep dark or something, but it looks like there's teeth behind that one. So you can also use a new tip feature on YouTube. Just give us the tip. Just a tip. <laughs> so just get the, like the gist out of the way. We have Davey Raffaelli, who's our main guy, Jerry. He suspects that his wife, played by Sarah French, who's pretty popular in a bunch of like indie films and stuff. We've reviewed lots of movies with her in it. He thinks that she's cheating when she's actually just like buying a snowblower, which is just a weird plot point that we might get to. His buddy Mike, played by David Sheridan, most people probably know as Special <laughs> Officer Doofy reporting. He's like, man, just get back at her by cheating. And they go to this bordello. There's just like a bunch of girls. One kind of looks like she's from Dagon. The gold <laughs> skin and the dark eyes. Her name is Sin. She lives up to the hype. But what's important about this is Mike knows that Jerry has an addiction problem because he has to put like a plastic bag over his head so that he wouldn't go back. Consider this a preventative measure. Because once you have a taste of the special, he knew he would want more. I get that. Like if I had a, okay, assume that I haven't seen what I'm putting my dick in yet. This is getting demonetized, isn't it? Imagine you thought that I might like something so much that you're like, man, we need to blindfold you. We're going to the Crown Royal Distillery <laughs> and I don't want you to know where this is. This is like a terrible idea. Like I'm gonna give you a sample of the finest whiskey you'll ever have, but only once. You can't give me the best thing ever in any aspect and say, you'll never have this again, unless you're Square Enix and they remake the games like Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I don't like that idea, but hey, they get to the bordello. Jerry finds out that Mike has bamboozled him to some degree. Wait, there's nobody in here. He goes upstairs and he is locked into a room with a box that says, stick it in. $60 snow. Is it worth $60? If someone comes to you and says 60 bucks, you're gonna bust a nut. If it's an experience, yeah, why not? I have a friend that fucked a robot in Montreal once. Everyone pooled their money together. It was like, go in and get whatever they're offering. And what it was, was there was a girl behind some like plexiglass and there was like a robot like machine and he had to do the thing with the machine while watching the girl. At least he had a girl. The time we live in, look at that. Yeah. Uh, but he did it and we haven't stopped talking about it for 20 years. Yeah, so 60 bucks seems like a steal. Yeah. Mind you, you get into the room, then what? Then you're like, well, I just wasted 60 bucks. It's just a box. It's just a plain black box with a hole in it. Which you already know that your friend banged. Yeah, but did he bang it today? Bang. That shouldn't matter. You assume if he's banged it, then other people have banged it because people before him right. recommended that you go bang this box. And it's a box. How often do you assume they clean it? I don't know. I think Ivan there, maybe. He has to clean it sometimes. There's it's just filled with jizz. It's just a box filled with nut, probably. I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna stick my fingers in it. And then I'm gonna just whip it out and go to town. Jerry has found the special. If you want that experience, just get a fleshlight at adamandeve.com using the code Wubby for 50% off. Actually, 50% off is not including fleshlights. Don't ask me how I know. So Jerry, he goes ahead and bangs the box and has the best sex of his life. And he was told he shouldn't do it again. And doesn't he go back and do it again? Yeah, I blame our psychic here for this one because she literally said, Don't bring this one back. Tell him to not return. And the very next day, he comes back. The special. 
I seem to remember you. He bangs the box, he likes it so much. The woman walks in, he steps on her neck and kills her, and then steals the box for himself. Goes to Bayview Hotel, or Motel. Pays for 200, 250 bucks, staying there for six days, and he basically just wants to bang this box for the next week yeah. while his wife's at home. I guess it's cheaper to get to steal the box and get the hotel. He's only paying 250 for the week versus 120 a day. But John, he murdered a woman. Oh yeah, everything he's done is wrong. He's made terrible choices and terrible life decisions. Things pretty much turn into a lull at this point where uh, basically him banging the box over and over again to what you would expect, he would get a wood rash. Though he does learn that it's not so much the box, but it's the goo that is in the box that gives him the orgasm through masturbation. So he bottles it up, he brings it home, wife catches him playing with himself and says, let's go to town. What are you doing? I, I thought you were watching the show. Even though they've been beefing this whole time, she's disregarded uh, all of their troubles. Even though she said like, I'm pregnant, I'm drinking wine, we're gonna do this. But I would like to say before they even do it, they're just hugging each other and it looks like they're pretending like they're having sex. <laughs> And it's just so weird because their pants are on and they're just holding each other, but they're like moaning and shit. It's like, okay. <laughs> I wonder if he like, when he walked by, did he drop some of that little goo into her drink or something on the way in? No, cause he would, he wanted to save it all for himself. That's true. Yeah. Greedy bastard. But he was forced to share and she did get off on it. And so did he. He gets a wood rash. She has a miscarriage. I think I miscarried. He doesn't care about her miscarriage. Sorry. He's just like, look, I, I don't have a VD if that's what you're asking. She's Dude. like, I didn't even ask. So like, this is where like the, the real downfall of Jerry begins, where he becomes too obsessed. Cause now he's like aggressively banging the box so much that he needs to know what's inside because there's no more goop. So he finally cuts the box, which is something you think you would have done right away after you stole it. Like what's inside? Yeah. It ends up being a ball of goop. Like an actual like Krang brain style thing. Like no face, no nothing, just like a glowing goopy ball. And the moment he sees it, he's like, I love this. He was like kissing it, pillow talks, bathing, snuggling. He loved it. I don't know why. He's obsessed. Although I've been in relationships where the sex was the only good thing about it. And I stayed with them and there was pillow talk and all that stuff. So I get that. But they didn't look like fleshy little brains from Psycho Gorman. It's really gross. I, I will say the puppeteering is cool. Like it looks, it's pulsating. It, it looks cool, but like definitely doesn't look fuckable to me. Or kissable. I think either or. This is something that should go back in the box and never talk about it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to open up your own bordello and have other people pay you 60 bucks to fuck the box, by all means, put it back in the box. Box. It's disgusting outside of the box. Because after this, he ends up killing his wife. He's like, you know what? I don't love you anymore. You're getting in the way of, the, of me and this orb that I have to kill you. And then he has to kill his best friend, who's also getting in the way of him and his orb. At the end of the day, all he wants to do is bang this goop. Yep. <laughs> Between slime ASMR and this guy, Jesus Christ. Nickelodeon needs to get back into the gack business. Suck it up and squirt it up with a gag back. Well, I never. Nickelodeon gag comes in different colors, sizes, and play sets. Each sold separately. This is where the film gets cool again, I would say. Because we go like almost full Cronenberg. Jerry, his venereal disease turns him into what he loves the most. A little gooey blob. He's gonna have his head removed by Ivan and his head will be now put into a box and he becomes the special, which is absolutely disgusting. When you think about it, Jerry was just banging the last guy who was uh, as obsessed as he was. So it's just like dudes banging dudes too much. That's the special. And gooey alien dudes. Oh, they're not really aliens though. They yeah, there's some kind of mysticism or magic because that's probably why there's even the psychics involved. We're not 100% on this. This easily could have been like wrapped up in like a 10 minute short. Yeah, this movie went on for way too long. The middle part where he's just like going back and banging and going to work and calling in sick and crap. It's just boring and nothing really happens. But the last part is cool. I just don't think it's worth the payoff. Well, well I don't know, I don't know. From a technical standpoint, this was a very good film. Just the story could have been significantly 
brilliantly trimmed. Yeah, and it wasn't that long. It was only an hour and a half, so I don't know. Would you have banged the box? If I knew, I definitely wouldn't. And even if I didn't know, I wouldn't. Okay. I don't think I would ever want to put my dick in a hole not knowing what's in the other side. Yes, that is my concern. Now, I've seen some like Japanese game shows where you can see like half of the person sticking out. Okay, I get that. I think it's in Czech where they have like the girls in like the in the rooms and just their legs. Five minutes later. Don't fuck a box. That's the moral of the story. And don't assume your wife is cheating because at the end of the day, she wasn't cheating. She was just buying a snowblower and for some reason she had to go and meet up with the guy a suspicious amount of times. It's a snowblower. It's not blowing me, is it? So I'm gonna give this two and a half unnecessary drone shots out of five. And I'm gonna give this two inspectors inspecting out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you have any, do want to check it out. Links are in the description. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything here on Bloodbath TV. We cover weird stuff sometimes.